Six Street can wait. We've got Friday night basketball from Austin, Texas. As the Longhorns try to snap a three-game losing streak, and Bama tries to make it three straight wins. Welcome to Jimmy V Week for Cancer Research on ESPN as we continue our commitment to the V Foundation and Jim Balvano's dream to defeat Duck for him. Ingram the dish. So Hell misses the three. Ingram dishes it right back and Hell four points back to back. The 23-14 lead comes down to point guard play. The fact that Bama has one in Ingram, and the fact that Texas is still searching for one. Well, they're not gonna find one. That's a good in point. This game. And, and Shaka has said it to you for the season, perhaps. It's gonna be point guard by committee. It's the toughest position in the game. You can say you want to be a point guard, and that's great until you have to perform as a point guard. Point guards have to play and process the game at the same time. They have to think about others first. They have to know when they can score and get theirs versus setting up his teammates. What Texas has to be concerned about right now is when they don't score, don't let it affect their defense. That's a good drive because the lane was open. The ability to create the foul and get to the line and stop the... he has to score he knows he has to facilitate he has to defend the other team's point guard that's a lot for a sophomore who's never been a point guard Alabama plays a strong defense man to man they're good on the help side they communicate they talk excellent pick and roll defense Jack Glenner except for that time yeah. off the feed from Curry Roach you can tell that he's not comfortable playing a point guard position because true point guards, when they get rid of it early, they know where the ball's going. If not, they keep the dribble, they center the ball, they get the team organized. Taylor with the contact as Roach goes down hard. Kerwin Roach out of North Shore High School in Houston. Did not start a single game last season. Yet here he is making start number five. Went against Incarnate Word. But even that game, there were some warning signs for this Texas team. Shaka Smart takes out Jared Allen on the defensive end. Great coaching move. This goes in. Look for the pressure again. I'm not worried about Texas defensively. When they start scoring, they'll start stopping people. Held opponents coming into this game at 28% from three-point distance. Bama shooting 37.5. Great way to start off the half is Jared Allen. Alabama trying to find the offense that they had in the early going of this game in the first half. They're not coming up with answers. Back inside to Claire, using the body. Roach with the flush. Yes, he one on one hesitation. He's going to pull it back out. Clear the screen. Roach slips it and one. Snoop Roach flexing, coming alive. So much focus at times and what he is not. But plays like we've just seen on these past few possessions highlight what he is. And he is a driving, slashing, finishing machine. Kerwin Roach Jr., the first player in this game in double digits. Comes into this game at 39% from distance. He's not afraid. Bama shooting 50% in this game. Kevin Mack lets it fly. Holds it a little bit longer. His first three-point make, and he's now at nine. We saw a lot more of that in this game tonight. For Alabama, future is bright for Avery Johnson and this Crimson Tide program. And Texas in the first half shoots 35%. Second half, big win for the Longhorns. And with that, the three-game losing streak is in the rearview mirror. A couple of second-year coaches.